Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video review and here in front of me I have another anti-theft backpack and this one here is by Tiger New. They have two sizes available, a medium one and a large one and I went with the medium one. So this one only fits up to a 15.6 inch laptop. Go for the larger one if you have a 17 inch laptop that you want to put in there. So the front of the backpack features two reflector lines here so that you can easily be seen at night from car headlights if you're ever riding a bike or walking at night. A nice feature to start off here with. The exterior fabric has a bit of a rough texture to it. It is water resistant so the water should just lie right off. Great for minor spills and for walking under some light rain. It is also scratch resistant but not cut proof so someone can still puncture through it if they stab it repeatedly. So just watch out for that. Turning the backpack over, back here are the nice looking shoulder straps. On the right is some branding and on the left shoulder strap is an elastic band ideal for holding your sunglasses or pants. There is a decent amount of padding on here, about half an inch of padding. You have the common adjustable straps here with the clips being plastic and all. Then up here is the handle strap. It is connected to the shoulder straps and it also has some cushion to it so when you're carrying some load on here it will be comfortable to carry around. The back of the backpack has cushion made from breathable material. That way your back won't get as sweaty on long trips. This sits on my back comfortably. It also has a strap for sliding onto a luggage roller. Then you have a hidden pocket behind the lower back padding which I hardly know what to put in. I'll just throw in some gum in there. I guess you can put some keys, individual keys that is, or some cards, a passport, or something like that. Another hidden pocket is on the left side here. This is a very narrow pocket so you really can't fit much in there. You can put in cables, some AA batteries, or some spare camera batteries that you have. You can toss those size items in there and they will fit perfectly. So let's take a look in the main compartment now and the zipper is hidden below here so that no one familiar with this will know how to open your backpack when you have it on. So that way it makes it very difficult for someone to get into your backpack without you noticing when you're standing in lines, taking the bus, or just taking the subway home. Unzipping the backpack is very smooth and the backpack opens 180 degrees so you can easily slide it through the airport conveyor belt and get on with your day. The inside is layered with nylon fabric which makes the inside feel very fresh and it's easy to wipe away from stains. So I'll start off with the left side here and up here is a zipper pocket. It's small but you can fit a mouse in there, a computer mouse that is, or some flash drives, SD cards, or other small items. There's a center clip with stretchable bands here to hold down your bigger items and so I'm just gonna unclip that for now. And there is two pockets here on the side. Both are big enough to hold some water bottles. The left pocket is ideal for carrying a water bottle, a soda can, a camera lens, or even a cylindrical Bluetooth speaker. I will put my Bluetooth earphones that are inside a case. I will also put my hard drive where I have most of my videos in and I'll slide that behind that case. On the other pocket I will put my headphones that I have been using for this month. They look very nice and sound good. They are small enough to fit in there. It can also fit my Panasonic G7 so if you happen to have the same camera I have then you will be able to put that in there. In case you are looking for a backpack to carry your camera in as well as your laptop with other gadgets then this is a good backpack to pick up. There are also four slots for some pencils or pens. I slid in my multi-tool pen on the first one. It is a bit thick, but it fit perfectly in there. Then I put the three pens that I use most often alongside with that. Moving right along, I will also put my laptop battery charger in there. It is a bit thick, so I will just rest it up here. Now I will clip these straps on here and there is still some room left so I can still throw in a light jacket in there for the cold seasons. On the side here is a slot that fits my power bank perfectly. It is a small pocket so it won't fit all the size power banks out there. And the one I have here is from Anchor. It is a 10,040 milliamp battery. I'll put a link to it in the description. There's a cutout on the side here to run a charging cable through to the outside of the backpack so you can charge your phone. You can also put an iPod there and run some wire earphones through it so you can listen to music. Now onto the laptop pocket. The first pocket is a small one that probably fits an iPad mini in perfectly. Moving on to the laptop pocket, it has some blue bubble looking padding that is supposed to be the shock absorber for when you bump your backpack into a wall. So this one will fit up to a 50.6 inch laptop. If you want one that fits in a 17 inch laptop, go for the larger one. And the larger one will run you $49.99 and the medium one goes for $39.99 and that's the one I have here. So the link will be below in the description so you can go ahead and check it out. The small pocket fits my 10.1 inch ASUS Transformer Mini tablet in the vertical position. So now onto my laptop. This has been one heck of an awesome laptop. I've been editing all my videos on here and it hasn't let me down yet. So it's been awesome. So, okay, so let me just go ahead and put my tablet the other way because the pen is gonna be scratching the surface of my laptop. Okay, so now I'm all set and all I need to do is just strap it down. So that is everything I will be putting into the backpack and there is still enough room in there to throw in a sweater or other larger items. But this is basically everything I will carry with me. 
I took this backpack when I went to Disneyland with my girlfriend this past weekend. I had my power banks, cables, snacks, water bottles, her wallet, and other girl stuff in there. I carried it for about 7 hours and it didn't give me any discomfort so it was very comfortable to lug around. This is a very attractive backpack and it gives you that sense of security when you're standing in long lines. If I had to choose between this one and the Shifu Ante Death backpack, which I reviewed a couple of months ago, you can click up here to watch that video. So I would choose the Chifu just because it has more pockets to organize my items, but this is still an awesome backpack as well. So this completes my review of the Tiger New Antidef backpack and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys on the next one.